what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody Ta take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below okay i know originally jolene was made by dolly Parton, but the the miley cyrus version it is channeling and it's he talks about you in his sleep and i can d help but do anything to keep from crying when he calls your name jolene okay so i feel like this is another situation okay i feel like whoever you're dealing with is with somebody else and it's like, I can easily understand how you can easily take my man, but you don't know what he means to me, Jolene. Okay, he talks about you in his sleep. Everything is mean to keep from crying when he calls your name, Jolene. Okay, double life, living a lie, which one is the truth? Okay, black sheep of the family sucker falls for people in blatant lies okay so whoever this person they are a i feel like it's and i'm sorry to say it is the karmic energy and i hate to judge a karmic energy right because we're all karmics to somebody but this person whoever that they're dealing with who is like when he talks about you in his sleep nothing i can do to keep from crying and I can, you know, they look like a real sucker. They look, they're looking like a real fucking clown because they're falling for whoever you're dealing with blatant ass lies. Okay. The lies is that this person is living a double life, living a lie, but which one is the truth? Okay. Now, I feel like when they look at themselves in the mirror, what they want is their cake and to eat it too here because there's somebody here that's broke as shit. It says so broke can't even buy off the dollar menu, okay? And then on top of that, we have black sheep of the family and it isn't for a good reason. So I feel like even this person's family is like looking at this person like a clown okay because i feel like this is also your person's energy like they're a clown they fall for people and their lies they you know what i'm saying easily manipulated but whoever you're this karmic is they're super easily manipulated okay and because your person is broke as fuck or whoever you're dealing with was living this double life and wanted their cake and to eat it too. Now they're having to live this fake ass life looking like a clown because they're broke as hell. They don't have a motherfucking thing. And even their family has shunned them out. Before they could go to their family, hey, I need help. I went through this, 333 when I looked down. You know, um... I'm going through this. I'm going through that. And, and and in the past, their family would help them out, be there for them. But now even their family is like, you know what? I, I'm done with your bullshit. I'm done with, the, you know, like, it's almost like their family sticks up for you. Trauma easily triggered by others due to their past issues. Yeah, their family. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be honest on what I'm seeing here. They have family members who are telling them how fucking dumb they are for losing you, for playing games with you, for living a double life, thinking that they were being, this could be somebody that's older also, so it's like their family's at the point where they're like, grow the fuck up, like, we used to be there, I used to let you, you know, come through for you, but at this point, it's time for you to grow up, it's time to show some tough love. And I feel like they're making, they're playing victim like, oh, my family won't even fuck with me. Or No, your family sees straight through your bullshit. 
your family actually their family actually really really liked you if you if they're this is a very specific reading if their family knew you if there was a connection to their family in some kind of way even if it wasn't close it's like the best this person had ever done was when they were with you they never had to go to their family and ask for help. They were never sitting there pocketless wondering what the fuck they're going to do. You know, they're doing the best they ever could. But then they start living this double life, wanting their cake and to eat it too, fucking with other people, maybe fucked with this karmic energy, okay? It made themselves and this karmic look like a whole motherfucking clown. Because the clown, the karmic knows damn well that this person is in love with you, first off. And second off, your person looks like a straight up clown. They're out here telling their family, oh, poor, their, their, their sob story about what happened. But see, their family has seen it all before. And now that their family's not helping them, now they're like, oh, my family won't even help me victim. Oh, yeah, leaving me like with nothing. No, no. You wanted to live a double life. You wanted to be a dumbass. You wanted to hurt the best thing that you ever had in your life. You making yourself look like a clown. And I feel like even their own family is telling them like how stupid they are for losing you. Like, what, what did you, this person, like, like, it's like, I'm hearing, like, an energy of maybe a father or a mother or a stepmom that's like, this person loved the fuck out of you. How dumb can you be? And now you want to run to us and think that we're going to help you after you hurt this person who I feel like you have dealt with. You know this person's family. I think this person's family, even if you guys weren't close, did like you for the simple fact that you made this person better. This person could have fucked up a lot in their life or played a lot of people along the way. But when they are with you, they're peaceful. They're not in need. They're not in want. They're not having to go to their family and beg or in need of anything. But once they hurt you again, their family sitting back, well, what the fuck did you do to this person to make them do you like that? And they're playing victim acting like, well, they, they did this, they did that. No, 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 no. Their family even sees through the bullshit. You're dumb as hell and you done fucked up the best thing in your life. And now, not only does the person that you hurt have nothing else for you, we ain't got shit for you. It's time for you to learn your fucking lesson here. They try to bring up their past issues, so when their family tries to shun them, especially I feel like there's some daddy issues here, like if this is a male and they have like, their dad was hard on them, it's not that their dad was hard on them, their dad spoiled them, instead of showing emotional love, could have given them like what they wanted, and now that this person is like older, they're realizing the father figure or mother figure, whoever this is, is realizing that they really fucked up. By giving this person what they wanted growing up. You know what I'm saying? Like, because now they feel entitlement. Ooh, so there is a, see, so whoever this other energy is, where I was feeling that song... There's an evil witch casting spells to hold you back and cause you harm. <gasps> there is somebody sending evil energy your way. And I feel like that's that person that's singing Jolene. And I can uh, easily understand how you can easily take my man, but you don't know what he means to me, Jolene. So there's this energy of this person who has very dark intuitive powers. Like, okay, like, for example, now, I might call myself a witch, but I don't do spells, right? I'm spiritual. I more relate with Hinduism, right? But people would consider me a witch. I don't do spells. I talk to my ancestors. I talk to my guides like Christians talk to Jesus, right? 
but we have somebody here who is playing with seriously dark spells like putting certain herbs together collecting somebody's hair you see what i'm saying like doing real spells on somebody to try to cause somebody harm now this is somebody that might not have you know um access to your hair or access to shit like that but this is somebody that is like googling how to like like what herbs or what they should do on certain moons or whatever this is somebody that is gonna do whatever they can to keep this person not realizing that what's keeping this person is the fact that this person is broke as shit <laughs> uninterested and unbothered yeah i feel like whatever spells that they're gonna try to cast upon you it's not gonna work you have to be scared you have to be scared of their spells and this evil bullshit that they're trying to cast but you're not you know you're very motherfucking powerful you know you have powerful ancestors and guides that have your motherfucking back. So whatever spells or evil work that they try to send your motherfucking way. And normally I don't talk about like spells and shit. I think that's just trying to like get views. But literally look at the card. Okay. That's what it says. I have to read what comes out. But here's your energy. Unbothered and uninterested. Mm-mm. Nah. What they're doing will not affect you at all. These spells or whatever c accuses you of arm harmful intent to throw others off their guilty scent. I feel like there's an energy of you being open and honesty about your spirituality or whatever you have going on. But they like act like you're a bad person because of the way you think or the way you live your life. But it's to throw other people off of the fact that they have these dark, seriously scary, manipulative thoughts about causing you some kind of harm, causing you some kind of pain. But the fact that you're so uninterested and so unbothered, I'm sorry, my cat's bothering me, um, and unbothered by this behavior, it's like, you know your spirit guides are not gonna let anything fuck with you at all whatsoever but what see see what they're doing to try to keep your person and the family okay because what this person is also doing is they're talking to the family and they're telling the family oh this person they they, they believe in witchcraft they believe in tarot they talk about like the moon and astrology and they're a weirdo and this and all that. They're going to try to make it out to this family like you are some kind of weird ass person. But the thing is, this person is very, very evil. See, even if that's all they're doing is trying to put out like evil energy and make people think ill of you, that's still putting out evil, bad, manipulative energy. But the thing is, this family is looking at this person like a motherfucking clown. The family is uninterested and unbothered by anything that this person has to say. Because this family is sitting back looking at this karmic like, we cannot stand you. Every time my, my son, my daughter, my grandbaby goes to fucking with you, here goes their life going into some bullshit. And every time they're with this other person, you, there's an energy of them. Like, it's like y'all might not have everything that you want or everything that you need, but y'all are fine. It's like when your person cast you out, and decided to hurt you for this evil ass karmic person. Their family cast them out too. It was like they lost everybody. Because they tried to play that pity party with their family. 
But now their family's even looking like you did that. Like, like, what did you do to them? Like, no, there's something that you did. And so their, their family who used to give them money, let them drive their vehicles, let them stay at their house are now telling them no also, are also telling them how stupid they are. They're bringing this karmic around the family, kiki kakain, not realizing, knowing that their family can't stand this karmic. This karmic tries to talk bad about you purposely, but this karm, the family's looking at this karmic like a clown and like their own person, like their own family member, like a clown. Like this is what you, this is what you're dealing with. And the two of you guys are coming around because you're broke as fuck. You probably need something. But yet, when you were with this other person, you slept good at night. You slept good as fuck at night. You weren't losing no sleep. You were fucking with a good witch. Somebody that was using their energy to spread love and abundance. And because they played the wrong one, now they're losing everything. And even their family's calling them a dumbass. Okay? Alright, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.